Hi, my name is Parag Malik. I'm one of the new faculty researchers here at the Canary Center. And uh, I came here uh, just this year um, because I, I believe that early detection really is critical in, in cancer. And this is the only place in the world that is wholly dedicated to early detection. What this diagram is showing is the challenge of, of biomarker discovery. And so what we're trying to do in detecting cancer early is we're trying to say that somebody somewhere in their body has cancer. And that has two pieces to it. One is being able to tell the difference between healthy cells and cancer cells. And the other is being able to detect those differences in the blood. So for the first step of telling the difference between a healthy cell and a cancer cell, um, you know, if we look at, I have sort of a cartoon of a healthy cell here, and inside each of these little um, circles and triangles represent proteins. And you can see this normal cell has maybe two circle proteins and one triangle protein. And that's, you know, most of the normal cells in your body. But if we look at the tumor cell, we can see that it has a lot more of the triangle proteins. And it also has these square proteins. And so if we were trying to ask the question, what's different between a healthy cell and a tumor cell, we might say, well, the tumor cell has lots of these triangles and, um, you know, it has these special square proteins that are specific to being a cancer cell. So that's the first question. What's the difference? In this case, we can say, okay, well, the difference between a normal cell and a tumor cell are the levels of these particular proteins, the levels of the triangle protein and the level of the square protein. Um, there are also these circle proteins which happen to be there, but they're the same in both the normal and the cancer cells. So they're not very informative. So the second step, once you've identified and you can say, okay, well, you know, these triangle proteins and these square proteins help us know the difference between a tumor cell and a normal cell, can we actually detect them in the blood? That's the second question, if we want to have a test in the blood. Uh, so some of these proteins are going to leak out of the tumor and end up in the blood where we can detect them by our blood test. And so if we look, we see that you know, these triangle proteins, they leak out into the blood and we can, we can detect them here. And these square proteins are great because they're very specific. They, they only exist in the tumor and there's a lot of them in the blood. In fact, there's more of them in the blood than you can see in the tumor. And so what that means is that you'll be able to detect the tumor when it's very small because you have a protein that's very specific and there's a lot of it. The, the overall mission of the canary is a two-step test. Um, the first test is a uh, low-cost um, screening test, ideally a blood test that you can apply to the whole population that says whether or not somebody has cancer or not and whether or not it's um, aggressive cancer or not. And the goal of my research is to find the proteins that you should look at to make that choice. The second part of the canary mission is to, um, is to develop an imaging-based test to localize the cancer in your body. And part of, part of my job is to find these proteins that differentiate tumor cells from normal cells. And if you find things like these square proteins that are specific to the tumor, you can actually develop imaging tests to go look for them and find out where they are being produced in the body. For me personally, one of the great opportunities of being here is getting to collaborate with all the other amazing scientists that are here. Um, and that sharing all of these different, uh, you, know, you have people with background in, in imaging, people with backgrounds in chemistry, in computer science, in electrical engineering, in material science, all coming together here to solve this problem. And that's incredibly unique. And so for me, that was a really exciting opportunity about coming here to be part of the team. Mm -hmm.